Welcome back everybody. My name is Legit Lee and today I wanted to show you that what I was working on again like I usually do. Um, so I have this Ender 3. I brought this brand new a few years ago. So I'm going to turn it on to show you what my problem is. So there you go. Now it's got power. You can see the light turn. The LCD light is on. And you can see right now it already says zero for the hot end. And then the bed temperature is at 80, 18, it's 18 degrees Celsius. But my hot end isn't working because my, um, my, my uh, thermistor got broken because when it was printing, a filament got stuck to the white wire that's the thermistor wire. And, um, it broke so now it's not reading any temperature and you can see here like if i try to set the temperature really quick let me just move this out of the way so if i try to set the temperature real quick you'll be able to see like go to control temperature nozzle let's just say i want to set it to 200 degrees celsius 260 it can go up to 260, but I'm going to set it for like 200 right there. So now we'll wait for it to go back to the main screen in a second. And then you'll see that it's not going to be able to heat up. And that's because the thermistor wire is broken. See, it says zero still. It's not even trying to heat up. So what I'm going to have to do, I have a whole bunch of Allen keys that I had to find. Because I have a whole bunch, but I had to look for all the ones that I had. So the Allen keys will help to be able to move or to loosen and take off the cover of where the thermistor wire is at and for where the hot end is. So in the description down below, I will post if you want me to. I will add where I bought I bought me a new hot end from Amazon so I'm gonna show you what it looks like just give me a second to grab it so this package right here I got from Amazon it's inside of like two packages really so if I just pull that out grab this hold on there we go so it came with a PTFE Bowden tube already, but I'm probably going to take that out because I don't really like those white ones. The Capricorn, the the blue cape, um, Bowden tubes are like the best ones to use. Shit, I just dropped it. Alright, so this is my new hot end, and it's the same one made for the... Ender 3 and for the CR10 I believe too and you can see it already has a um, a connector for when you plug it into the to the motherboard so I'm going to test that out and it already has the wire strip back for you to connect the heating cartridge to the motherboard so first I'm going to pause the video pull my Ender closer to me and unscrew this top lid that holds the motherboard in place and then we'll see if we can connect the new hot end to the motherboard and then I'll be able to show you if it does work where you can actually get the hot end to work so if you're having the same issue this is what I'm doing to resolve it Hopefully you guys will like the video. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, definitely comment down below. And if you want to know for sure right now, um, I bought this heating ca cartridge or hot end from Amazon for $16.99, basically $17. So I'm going to pause the video, pull this forward to me a little bit, move this back. And then I will take this case cover off so that way I can get to the wires.
So just give me a second. I'll be right back.